They told you everything was waiting for you. They told you everything was set in stone. You'll smile, you'll rebel, you more than one. Excuse me, Professor Piper? Can you show us that melody again? Of course, my dear. Kitty, you know what happens when... <laughs> oh, rats, I forgot. Raven Queen, please report to Baba Yaga's office. Me? Yes, you. Uh, Madam Yaga, is everything... Okay. Raven, take a seat. As a faculty advisor, it's my job to meet with the, um... Troubled students. What? I'm not troubled. We're here to get you back on the right path. <laughs> the wrong path. I'll let your friends explain. Raven, I adore you. But, like, the other day, you spilled that everlasting black ink all over my new ball gown. That was an accident. I felt really bad and said I was sorry, like, a hundred times. You're not supposed to apologize. You're evil. Oh, but what if I don't want to... Raven, you're here to listen. Briar, would you like to go next? Everyone, I set up a bungee jumping platform on the east turret. Briar, hocus focus. Maddie. I think Raven is wicked awesome just the way she is. And you didn't tell me we were here to be hassle her. You said we were going to have a tea party. Yes. I lied. We haven't heard from Lizzie Hartz. Off with the head! Everyone stop! Now that's what we're looking for from an evil queen. I think we made real progress here. But uh, how do I change back? I don't want to be a chicken man. They told you everything was waiting for you. They told you everything. Raven Queen, what evil act are you going to perform for this year's talent show? No, 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 Miss Queen. This music is too nice. If you will not give a performance suitable to a student of your destiny... Since my story didn't exactly go poof, I think it's safe to change it up. <laughs> Do something, you know, not evil. Nevertheless, Sparrow Hood has already signed up to play the guitar. Sparrow's gonna show you a big time! Ow! But I've been practicing my guitar solo for a month. Practice is for losers. Ow! Oh, bring it on like very song. Oh, I mean. That's more evil. <laughs> things by talking to each other. Except that Professor Rumpelstiltskin's online-only test is due by sunset today. Oh, I forgot about that. 
Okay, let's panic. It looks like someone's hogging all the bandwidth. We need to find out who. Humphrey, you stay here and sort out these cables while we search the school. Sure. Leave it to Humphrey Dumpty to put it all back together again. 933, 934... Daring, are you using the mirror net? I sure am. I'm uploading a couple thousand high-res pics from my new photo shoot. Oh, that was rude. Melody, are you downloading any large files from the mirror net? Just every recorded remix of... Hey! That is so not just right. The mirror net is still slow as a troll. And we only have another two hours to take our online test. There's only one thing to do. Go to the heart of the mirror net. Now we're going to find out what's been actually... Oh. Professor Rumpelstiltskin. You're the one who's been slowing down the mirror net? But, but why? Let me guess. So you could fail us, give us detention... And make you spin my straw into gold. That's not gonna happen now that we know your little secret. A tale I'm guessing the headmaster would love to be told. <gasps> what do you say? You cancel the test and give us a little more time to study. Oh, yeah. Fine! And I think it's only fairest that he fixes what he broke. Ow! Oh! Ah! Yeah. Oh, don't go to pieces on us, Professor. Ah! Ah! La, 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 la. Um, hey, Apple, could you not sing in the morning? <laughs> or ever? Oh, you big kidder. Mirror, mirror, so smart and cool. Who's the fairest at this school? You are, Apple White. Greatest mirror ever. I'm gonna borrow some jewelry from Briar. BRB! <laughs> I wonder if some magic can get a little more curl going on here. Oh! <laughs> Magic mirror. What do you think? What do I think? <laughs> My mirror. Did something happen while I was gone? Um, no. Not that I remember. This is a royal fairy fail. Come on, we're gonna find you another mirror. <laughs> My mirror? Here you go. What? You, you don't have a bigger mirror? You never know when you need to look good on the go. I'm having trouble finding one that's just right. Some of these are too narrow, too wide. Oh, I don't like the frames. You want to borrow my mirror? Well, okay, just let me do one quick checkeroo. Oh, ooh. Mm. You're never getting that away from him. Yeah, I know. Okay. This is just the worst thing that's ever happened to anyone. Apple, I broke your magic mirror. Oh, I know. You what? Duh. You're supposed to be the most evil person ever. I just assumed you did it and then lied about it. Until my new mirror arrives, I know how you can make it up to me. Is this the perfect thing to wear to crown Killer's class? Of course it is, fairest one of... Ow! <laughs> so heavy! Stop breaking character. I don't want to keep calling you the fairest. Come on. Be a good evil roommate. We'll be at the Forest Fest in no time. I thought this trip would be a fun distraction for you. I hope I was right. You know what? I'm gonna stop worrying about Dexter. I figure whatever happens, happens. Meanwhile, I'm gonna have some fun! What was that? <sighs> Not fun! Not fun at all! Maybe it's the three bears. That doesn't sound like any bears I know. <gasps> Run! Look! The Enchanted Forest! We're almost there! Why? Hey, you big fat monster guy! You to say bye bye. Oh no! No 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 no! <gasps> oh, what happened? I think we tripped on something. My heart! Look, there they are. Apple, Raven, Hunter. What are you guys doing here? Cerise told Cedar that someone saw you guys in the dark forest. Uh, that was kind of 
my fault. I sent you the wrong way. But how could you do such a thing? You can't blame a girl for following her destiny. <laughs> Spoiling people's fun is kind of my thing. But then I saw how you guys handled everything, how nice you were to that disgusting Biggle Woggle. Hey, I have feelings, you know. And if I made you late, well, I guess I'm... I'm, uh... Sorry? sorry? Yeah, that. I'm sorry you missed your party. But they haven't. I am the Fairy Queen. You cannot find the Forest Fest. It finds you. And all of you may enter as my special guest. Wow! <laughs> Faybell, come join us. All this niceness is so gonna trash my reputation. <laughs> oh well, I can always be bad again tomorrow. Cedar, have you heard anything from the girls since they left for the party? I was just in the woods. Don't worry, Dad. Blondie Locks and her friends won't be back here anytime soon. That's my boy. Blondie? Why would she be in the dark forest? Weird, because she went to the enchanted forest with Ashley, Poppy, and Cupid. <gasps> They're in the wrong forest! They must have taken the wrong path. I say we pitch in and do something about it. Come on! How much longer are we going to wait for Baba Yaga? She's bound to show up soon. We just have to be patient and think positive thoughts. Well, I'm positive I'm done waiting. This is an emergency. How do you work this thing? <laughs> Yaga's office, forward. Hey, this is easier than I thought. and I was trapped in that bottle all night. <laughs> Raven Queen, uh, have you been driving this room without my permission? Uh, well, I... I like it! <laughs> Give in to your dark side. It's an excellent start. But I did it because our friends, well, they're lost in the dark forest. They need our help. Say no more! Hold on! Field trip to the dark! Another morning at Ever After High, as the students are getting fairest for another typical day. Typical? There's nothing typical about this day. <laughs> Is there anything more perfectly charming than my birthday? Um, my birthday? You're such a kidder. I mean, does the entire school celebrate your birthday with a royal cake baking contest? It's not just the royals in the baking contest this year. I'm gonna make you the most excellent apple crumb cake. <laughs> you mean poison apple crumb cake. You wouldn't be the daughter of the evil queen if you didn't try to poison me. Don't you remember Legacy Day? I'm writing my own destiny now. And my cake is just gonna have sugar and cinnamon and a little bit of love. Can you believe it? Raven isn't going to try to poison me. Oh, I need an herbal potion soak. I wish there was something we could do. Yeah, but it's not like you can make Raven poison her. <gasps> Great idea, Ash. I'll pour a little creature concoction into Raven's cake, and Apple will think Raven tried to poison her. We could just get her some cute shoes or something. Oh, daring. A cake with a picture of you on it. <laughs> How charming. And now we have Raven's cake. Taste it. Um, Apple, 
Have you forgotten? I'm your official taster. I have to make sure these cakes are just right. Oh, wow. It's so moist. Ah! And tender. Ah! What? Apple, I swear. You did try to poison me. Hey, I I'm the one who... Uh, I mean, yes. Way to go, Raven, you bad, evil girl. <laughs> Briar. Um, I... Gotta fly. Aw, why can't I be a phoenix, too? <laughs> oh, well. See ya. Gotta go. Yep, uh, here I go. <laughs> can't answer any questions. Nope. <laughs> I am out of here. So yesterday, in Princessology, Apple recited the girl's royal headwear line from birth tiara to coronation crown from memory. Holly, that is so fabulous. Hey, little sis, see after school at the Tower Hair Salon? Uh-huh. Love you, big sis. Oh, hey, Nanny Nona. Holly? No, I'm Poppy, the younger twin. Oh, that's right, dear. I, I've got some... Uh, News. What is it? You know how your sister is older by three seconds? Well, I made a teeny tiny mistake. Actually, it's you. I don't want to be the next Rapunzel. I'm trying to find my own destiny. And being the next Rapunzel means everything to Holly. How am I going to tell her? And so then I told Apple, look, I know your story better than anyone ever after. And it was a red delicious apple that... Something on your mind? I, uh... Hey! Check out my new hair dryer! So then, in hero class, Daring scaled the tower just like in his story! <laughs> okay, I am totally getting a twin vibe that you are not telling me something. What is it? Okay, well, you know when you know something, but... <laughs> Guess we can't talk now! What? Okay, that's it. Tell me what's going on. Nanny Nana mixed up our birth certificates. And you're the younger twin. What? But that means that I'm supposed to be the next Rapunzel, not you. But I liked being the next Rapunzel. And I liked being something else. Wait, does anyone else know about this? No. Then what do you say we just keep it as our secret? That way we can both have the destinies we want. I love it. Thanks. I'm just trying to let my hair down. <laughs> Hurry! The blossoms that bloom are headed for doom! Translation, there is definitely something wrong. <gasps> what happened to Wonderland Grove? It's usually so... Wonderish. This part of the enchanted forest is our link to Wonderland. And it's the source of all magical madness in our world! So if the grove is losing its magical madness, are you saying our world will lose its magic too? Whatever after is all about magic. So what do we do? Madden up, people! We need to recharge the grove by holding an honest to madness Wonderland tea party! Time to get our madness on! <laughs> Fantastic! New outfits for everyone! Time to check my madness meter! <laughs> Not enough! We better get our dance on! You guys, you have to dance Wonderland style! so good at letting loose. Wait a spell. I've got an idea. Raven? No way. Come on, Cerise. Trust me. <sighs> you put on fake silly wolf ears for the tea party? Now that is madness. Hey, <laughs> look. We did it. <laughs> And so, your project is to trace your family tree. But remember, your research must be rooted in fact. Who would exactly...
exaggerate their fairy tale just so they could say they have royal roots, right? Uh, right? Come on, Blondie. Time to turn in our family tree projects. Oh, uh, I'm not feeling just right. Really? You were fine like 10 minutes ago. Yeah, well, I'm sick, okay? Uh, I mean, have fun without me. <laughs> Blondie, are you pretending to be sick so you don't have to do your family tree project? No, that's oh, just right. Cupid, my family is only ugh, distantly royal. So what if I'm just choosing the destiny I want? Wouldn't that mean that I'm I'm actually a rebel? Blondie, royals make choices too. They choose to follow tradition and honor their stories. If you know in your heart that you're a royal, then you need to tell the world. I uh, traced my Uncle Elmer back to this branch of the family. And um, so, even though we share the same name, we are not related to the Charmings of Nottingham Forest. Or the Charmings of Never After. Or even the Charmings who came over on the Charm Flower. Who knew there were so many unrelated Charmings in the fairy tale world? was captured by the bears, she vowed to be a good girl and was sent to live on a magical cul-de-sac where a long line of locks are from. There, she was declared queen of her community, just like her mom before her and her mom before her. As you would say, that royal story is just right. They told you everything was waiting for you. They told you everything was set in stone. The path of love is never straight. Well, it was until people started choosing their own stories. Oh, you must admit, this is much more interesting. Hmm. Well, let's see what happens. Hey, Ashlyn. What's up with the urgent text message? Is ever Shh. <gasps> Sorry, Cedar, but I need help. We need help. Uh, Hunter? Shh, I'm not Hunter. I'm a Gunter. Gunter Gunsman. Is this about your guy's secret relationship? Shh, yes, it is about that. Duchess knows, and she's gonna spell it out for the whole school. We don't know what to do. Well, I always find it's best to tell the truth. You're right, Cedar. Gunter Gunsman. I got a triple mint hocus latte for Gunter Gunsman. <laughs> Over here. I got party supplies. C.A. Cupid. Ah, I'm Cupid. That's me. Ah, just sign here. Party what? supplies? Uh, yes. Party supplies. Um, for our play. And what exactly is the name of this play? It's a... Uh, mm. <laughs> it's called The Play That Almost Was And Then Wasn't But Then Was mm. Very well <gasps> I don't know, Duchess It is a bomb spell, but... Ash and Hunter are my friends. If you don't report on it, someone else will. <gasps> no! They can't own it! Now I'll never get my happily ever after! Oh, hey, Duchess! <laughs> Ashlyn, <gasps> you and Hunter are, are dating? But, but you're a royal! A royal dating a rebel? That's just not how the tale is told. She followed her true heart, which is kind of what True Heart's day is all about. 
So, fellow fairy tales, Blondie Locks here to give you reaction to the royally rebellious romance. I think it's excellent. <laughs> Ashlyn and Hunter decided to rewrite their destinies. What's wrong with that? Oh! <gasps> I feel for them. I mean, keeping secrets is hard. <laughs> a royal and a rebel? <laughs> They're from two different worlds. <laughs> I am trying to do an interview here. I'm worried about Ashlyn and Hunter. If they don't follow their destinies, their books could close forever. Remember our quiz tomorrow on tiara size and future neck problems? Apple, we have to talk. Ash, this is hard for me, which is a first because I usually handle everything so very well. I know. I'm just so surprised you didn't trust me enough to tell me. I didn't think you'd understand. I guess I don't. It just doesn't make sense to me. I don't want to see anything bad happen to someone I care so much about. And so you're telling me all these heart-shaped cakes are for your play. Yep. For the play. You know it. They're there for that really funny scene where uh, Briar throws them at Hopper. Excuse me? Oh, yeah. It's such a funny scene. I just wind up and... <laughs> Very well. Duchess, what do you want? What do I want? My own happily ever after, of course. And now that everyone knows that you're dating a rebel... It looks like there's one available. No glass slipper for you. <laughs> so you're happy about Hunter and I dating while my best friends aren't? Maybe I did make a mistake. What? No! You're totally doing the right thing. Follow your heart and all that sappy stuff. Sorry, I'm saving this for Ashlyn. Hey, Ashlyn! Ahem. <clears throat> Hunter, we need to talk. Uh, Ashlyn? I just... I thought this would be a good thing, showing everyone we were dating. I thought it would take the pressure off, but now everything is worse. What are you saying? My friends are upset. I don't know what's going to happen to our stories. Yeah, but... Hunter, I don't want anything bad to happen to us. To you. I think... I think we should break up. Salad totally reminds me. We're having a sale at the Glass Slipper. How does salad remind you of? You're cute. So who wants to go shopping after school? Sure, I'm in. Oh, uh, I can't because I entered the Royals Beauty Pageant, but I didn't want to tell you guys because they thought you'd think it's silly. But I love celebrating being awesome, empowered girls. <laughs> oh, it's not silly, Cedar. I say go for it. Bigger smile, Ms. White. Bigger, Ms. Beauty. Cheshire, big Ms. Wood. My cheeks are hurting. Beauty is not always pretty. Oh, these shoes are so uncomfortable. How are we supposed to walk in them? Huh? Whoa! Gracefully, my dear. For the debate portion of the pageant, the topic will be, why is looking good more important than, well, anything? Well, yeah, wait just a splinter. I thought this pageant was about what it means to be a beautiful girl. Not painful shoes, not silly smiles, real stuff. Like being smart and graceful and, oh! And, and the beauty inside of us. She's right. Apple, I'm, well, I'm sorry for what I said at the rehearsal. Why? You told the truth. 
You made me realize the pageant doesn't celebrate what being beautiful is really all about. So what can we do? We reinvent the contest. You mean like change the debate? Make it about being awesome, empowered girls? Isn't that where real beauty comes from? True beauty means living every day at our best and never forgetting that each of us is special in our own enchanting way. That was beautiful. Does our judge have a winner? I've thought long and hard, and I choose me. <laughs> they told you everything was waiting for you. They told you everything was set in stone. But now you're feeling like a different ending.